What's going on Carters and welcome to the newest season of our Google Apps Script course. This playlist is going to be very fun, exciting, and useful for you as a programmer because we're going to be talking about the HTML service. So this playlist is not going to be teaching you how to code in HTML in general, only how to take your existing HTML and then serve it through your Apps Script project. So this first episode is going to be describing in a broader sense the parent class of the HTML service, which is actually of the same name, HTML service. So HTML service is used to return your HTML content as HTML and not as just say text. Some of the common direct uses of HTML service are obviously web apps. So web apps are written in HTML. And if you want to have your web app hosted by App Script in general, you're going to need to serve your HTML through the parent class of HTML service. Also, as we've seen in previous playlists and sheets, docs, and slides, sometimes they have their own custom UI components, which you can actually write HTML to have rendered within these components. So if it's like a modal or a sidebar, things of those nature, you can actually serve your HTML into these components. Also emails, if you have an elaborate email site, you can actually use HTML and have that rendered in your email. And to, and to do that, you would probably want to use the HTML service to get say the content of your HTML and then um, send it through uh, that email. All right, so before we continue, I just need to clarify one thing. The HTML that you write in say a file, once you send it through HTML service, it's going to be sanitized through a sanitization called Kaha. And it's also going to be double iframed. So this is just, all of this is just security protocol, security measures. Google does not want you writing any code that could be malicious and then serving it through their own product like App Script. Uh, they just don't want any of that dirt on their hands. So what they do for security, uh, one, of the, one of the big things is that they double iframe your, uh, your HTML. And the outer iframe is actually sandbox. So as you can see on that outer iframe, on the code that I have written below, we have the attribute of sandbox. And it does allow a lot of things, but it doesn't allow everything. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're writing more advanced web apps. And then also there's that inner iframe. Um, and then after that, it's your content. But your content, again, it's not the exact content that you write. Sometimes it could be the exact content, but it will be sanitized if you have anything that's shady or uh, that could be shady, at least I'll say, is they'll sanitize it, they'll either remove it completely or they'll modify it in some way. And that is just, again, Google's safeguard against any malicious code that may come about. All right, so let's see an example of this in the code right now. So here in the code editor, I have a very simple HTML file. All it has is an h1 tag that says this page was served through HTML service, and then also a base tag and a title tag. And you'll see why I have my undisplayed title here. It's because this is one of the uh, tags that gets sanitized through the Kaha sanitization process. Um, so there is actually another way to actually create a title for your HTML page, uh, but we'll go over that in a later episode. All right, so let's now uh, publish this as a web app. So if you remember, actually before we do that, if you remember from an earlier playlist, we talked a little bit about the do get and the do posts uh, methods. So these are going to be useful for when we have a web app and we're gonna go over what this is, but it's pretty self-intuitive. It's create HTML output from file, and here's our file. So if we now deploy our web app, all right, so we'll hit the deploy button right here. Everything looks good. Uh, that's all we need for now, so we'll say deploy. And then now let's test our app using the latest code. So if this worked correctly and it looks like it did, then now we have this h1 tag displaying properly, and it's, yes, it's as an h1, it's not just as normal text. So that is pretty cool. So now let's look at our development tools. We can already see that some of it was sanitized. So if we look here again, the title 
Uh, my undisplayed title is not displayed up here in the little tab. This is where the title would usually go, but it's not there. So that is one of the things that got sanitized, but let's just verify it. So if we go into our developer tools, our developer console right here, you can see that this is our document, which there's already a lot of extra stuff that we can see that we did not include in our original HTML file. So you have things like table and script, whatever this is. But let's just look at the double iframe. All right, so here's our content right here, right? So this we did write. This page was served through HTML service. Um, and then we have this title right here, but as you can see, it's ignored. It's not actually rendering. Um, and one of the reasons why is because this is now wrapped in a double iframe. So here's the first iframe. And as you can see, we have this sandbox uh, property or this attribute right here. And then it has all of these things that it does allow, but again, it doesn't allow everything. After that, we have another iframe. Again, this is for security. I'm sure there are things that uh, would pass if there's only one iframe. That's why we double iframe it, or that's why Google double iframes it. And then after that, that is, and then we get our, uh, the, the file that we wrote. So most of the time, again, you won't have to worry about this, but uh, it is just a good thing to keep in mind. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the actual content in these next upcoming episodes. And But until then, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.